Arsenal Football Club is not known for making many signings in the January transfer windows, historically. But still, throughout the years, every now and then, we managed to find a player who turned out to be an absolute gem for us, and he left a big mark in the club. So today, we are going to talk about the seven greatest January signings that Arsenal made in the Premier League era. But before we start, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more daily content. Okay, let's go. Number 7. Andre Arshavin Arshavin signed for Arsenal from Russian club St. Zenit Petersburg during the 2008-2009 winter transfer window, becoming the most expensive player in Arsenal's history at the time, with a fee of £15 million. The 27-year-old Arshavin was one of the best players of Euro 2008, and there was big interest for him all around Europe. In the end, Arsene Wenger managed to sign the Russian in front of Chelsea, who were also rumored to be one of the clubs that wanted to pay his release clause. In his first six months with the club, Ashawin was absolutely brilliant, instantly putting out great performances, week in, week out. We all remember his four goals against Liverpool at Anfield, right? Well, in the end, that turned out to be his best performance for Arsenal, in the whole time he spent with the club. So, where did it all go wrong? Arsenal have signed few players more talented than Andrea Shavin in their history, no doubt about that. But unfortunately for us, he never lived up to his potential, even though he still played 144 times for Arsenal. You could say that after the Liverpool game, his downfall officially started. He was dropped from the first team, and he simply disappeared from Arsenal's matchday squads, with some rumors saying that Arsene Wenger wasn't happy with the Russian and he thought that he was a lazy player who is not interested in working on himself. And in 2012, once Arsenal's record signing, has left the club on a free transfer, as he returned to his former club, Zenit St. Petersburg. It's a shame that we didn't see more from him in Arsenal's shirt, but because of his inconsistency and lack of will to stay on top of his game for a longer time, I had to put him on 7th place on this list. Number 6. Nicolas Senelka Anelka joined Arsenal for £500,000 from Paris Saint-Germain in 1997. Fun fact, the Frenchman, who was 17 at the time he signed for Arsenal, was Arsene Wenger's first official signing as Gunners boss. That's a good quiz question. Anelka made only 4 appearances for Arsenal in his first season, but it was clear to everyone that he was a special talent. And when Ian Wright got injured next season, Arsene Wenger gave him his full confidence and regular game time. Anelka returned him the favor by scoring 17 goals in 35 appearances that season, and he finished the year as Arsenal's top scorer. Although Arsene Wenger wanted to keep Anelka and had long-term plans for him in Arsenal's shirt, the Frenchman forced his way out of the club and joined Real Madrid in 1999. Now, you're probably wondering, why is Anelka even on this list? He was here for a year and a half and he forced his way out. Well, here's why. Arsenal sold Anelka to Real Madrid for £22 million, which was a lot of money for a player back then. And you know what Arsene Wenger did with that money? He signed another Frenchman, called Thierry Henry, from Juventus for £11 million. And with the rest of that money, he built Arsenal's new training center. And that's why Nicolas Anelka is on this list. If he didn't force his way out and he decided to stay at Arsenal, who knows what the future would look like. Number 5. Emmanuel Lebue Arsenal signed Ivorian Emmanuel Lebue from Belgian club Beveren for £1.5 million in 2004 to provide cover and competition for Lauren at right back. No one had high expectations of him. Everyone thought that he was just another player who was there to fill a place in the team. But only two years later, he played for Arsenal in the 2006 Champions League final. In the end, Ebue stayed at Arsenal for seven years, till 2011, and he made over 200 appearances for the club, scoring 10 goals and providing 20 assists in the process. From an unknown player who came to the club for £1.5 million, Ebue left his mark and showed why he was brought. Although sometimes fans weren't exactly too happy with him, whenever he stepped on the field, Ebue always gave his best and tried to help his team. And that is why he is fifth on this list. Number 4. Nacho Monreal The 26-year-old Nacho Monreal joined Arsenal for Malaga in 2013, for a fee around £10 million. There was no high expectations from the fans when he first joined the club, but Nacho proved us all wrong, and he stayed with Arsenal till 2019, making over 250 appearances for the club. If you watched Arsenal during that period, then you know that Nacho Monreal is one of those players that you simply can't hate. Shy, withdrawn, never caused problems, 
When needed, he sat on the bench. When he played, he would do his best. One of those players that every club should have in their ranks. He always did his best for the team. It was not a problem for him to cover different positions if needed. He never wanted to stand out in the media or put himself in the foreground. Just a perfect player that every club would want. Even though he obviously wasn't the best left back in the world at any point. In my humble opinion, since Ashley Cole left Arsenal, Nacho Monreal was the best left back we had in our squad after him, till this day. Extremely grateful player to have in your squad, and I think it would be hard to find any other Arsenal fan who wouldn't agree with me. And when he left Arsenal for Real Sociedad in 2019, this is what he said. I've never been a star, but I gave my all for Arsenal. It's also worth mentioning that he won 3 FA Cups and 3 Community Shields during his spell with the club. Number 3. Theo Walcott Arsenal completed the signing of 16-year-old Theo Walcott from Southampton for an initial £5 million fee in January of 2006. As we all know, Theo had some major problems with injuries throughout his time with the club. In total, he collected 397 appearances for Arsenal during his 12-year stint with the club, scoring 108 goals and providing 80 assists. Now the thing with Theo Walcott is, when he was healthy and playing, in my opinion, he was a great player. He scored some wonderful goals for us, he put in some great performances over the years, and he became Arsenal through and through. You could have seen how much it means to him every time he put on the shirt. On the other hand, he was always struggling with injuries, and when he returned from those injuries, he would usually give you some inconsistent performances, because he wasn't 100% fit. And then, when he finally gets fit, he would get injured again, or Arsene Wenger would have dropped him from the starting 11 because he simply couldn't wait for him every single time and new players are coming to the club. So it's really tough for me to say where exactly does he belong on this list. He spent 12 years at the club, he loves the club, and if things had gone in a different direction, today we would probably talk about Theo Walcott as a legend of this club. I don't know, when all is said and done, I think he deserves to be third on this list. But write down in the comments, what are your thoughts? Do you agree with me? Number 2. Emanuela Adebayor Now I know, I know, I have nothing good to say about Emanuela Adebayor and I don't even like mentioning his name after all that he's done after leaving us. Complete disgrace of a player and he long ago wiped away all the good he did during his time here. But for the sake of this list, I have to be objective. Well, at least to some extent. Arsenal signed Adebayor for £3 million for Monaco in 2006. At that point, Little was known about Adebayor and no one had high expectations that he could be our next great striker. It was just another one of Alsen Wenger's cheap signings. And after Thierry Henry left for Barcelona, Adebayor became Arsenal's first option in attack, scoring 30 goals for the club in 2007-2008 season. No one expected that from him and he left the fans in complete shock. Bear in mind, at the start of the 2007-2008 season, your greatest ever striker, Thierry Henry, has just left the club and we all knew that the time of rebuilding is coming and it was hard to expect that anyone in our squad could replace Thierry Henry and his numbers. And just like that, in that same season, 23-year-old Adebayor scored 30 goals for Arsenal in all competitions, immediately promoting himself into the next big thing and Arsene Wenger was once again praised for finding another top quality talent and buying him for cheap. Adebayor continued with great performances in the following season, but due to some internal problems between him and Arsene Wenger, he forced his way out of the club and signed for Manchester City in 2009 for £25 million. When all said and done, I don't think there's any Arsenal fan today that has any appreciation for Emmanuel Adebayor and his time with the club. But I had to put him second on this list. He never reached those levels that he showed at Arsenal when he left. And it's a shame, because I thought that he could truly become our next great striker. He was bought for 3 million pounds and sold for 25 million pounds and was only here for 3 years in total. And to this day, the question still remains, what exactly happened between him and Arsene Wenger that made him force his way out and leave us when we needed him the most? And number 1, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Signed for Arsenal from Borussia Dortmund in 2018 for a then club record fee 60 million pounds. Fun fact, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang was Arsene Wenger's final signing as Arsenal manager. Another good quiz question, keep that in mind. Anyway, since his first appearance for Arsenal, we could have seen that he is the real deal. And in his first full season with the club, he won the Premier League Golden Boot after scoring 22 goals. In his next season with the club, 
2019-20 season, Pierre-Emery Aubameyang became the fastest Arsenal player to score 50 Premier League goals, breaking the record previously held by Thierry Henry. Unbelievable. And in that same season, he carried Arsenal to the FA Cup glory, scoring two goals for us in the final against Chelsea. It all went downhill for him after that season and after signing that big new contract in the summer. And we all know how it all ended for him at Arsenal. I even dare to say that Pierre-Emery Aubameyang was perhaps our best signing in the Emirates era, in my opinion. Alexis Sanchez and Pierre-Emery Aubameyang. To some extent, I guess we could add Mesut Ezio there also. Probably the best three players that we've signed under Arsene Wenger in the Emirates era. My only regret with Pierre-Emery Aubameyang is that we didn't sign him earlier. Maybe around that time when we were fighting for the title with Leicester and Olivier Giroud was our only true option in attack. Because don't forget, Aubameyang came to Arsenal in his prime when he was 28 years old. And who knows what would have happened if we had managed to bring him earlier. And that is it, the complete list. So Gunus, tell me, what are your thoughts? Do you agree with my picks? Would you change anything? Write down in the comments. Thank you all for joining in, thank you for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more daily content. Once again, thank you all and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.